pH is a measure of how acidic or alkaline water is and it only takes a very small change in pH from circum neutral for there to be a big detrimental impact on aquatic life. If we're using flocculants in our treatment systems or if we're using cement based products around waterways it's very important that we test pH. The best way to test pH is to collect a sample and get it tested by an accredited laboratory but if you need to know straight away what's going on with your pH you can use either a pH meter or pH strips. This is a pH meter. Now there's a number of limitations that you need to be aware of when using a meter. They need to be regularly calibrated at least once a month. They do degrade over time so you will need to replace the meters and they also can take quite a while to stabilise when you're taking that pH measure. This can sometimes limit the use of these but they are very good to get a quick and easy idea of what's going on with your pH but if you need more information you should be taking a sample and getting it tested at the laboratory. The meters are very easy to use, turn it on, you've obviously calibrated it previously and rinsed it in clean water so now you just place it in the stream or in your sample and hold it there and watch the uh, pH reading until it starts to stabilise. pH strips are another option to quickly check your pH and are easily available. Take a strip out of your container, put the strip in the water so that the four bands covered and get nice and wet, then bring that band up and check it against the four colour bands that are on your pH container until you get a match. So you can see here that we're sitting between uh, probably the 7 and the 8. So pH strips will only go to the nearest pH unit so they are not entirely accurate and it is one of their limitations. So again if you're getting close to your limits then you should be taking a sample and getting it tested by a laboratory.